अच्छा जहर सिंह वॉज के वी टॉक वी टॉक अबाउट अच्छा वी टॉक अबाउट द द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्मॉल डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिलेटिव अटोमिक मैस एंड न्यूक्लियर नंबर ठीक है uh so we talked about that i told you that relative atomic mass is always going to be in uh, decimals and if it's going to be in decimals uh make sure you copy the exact value theek hai don't depend on your on your memory but whenever it says about whenever he is talking about proton numbers or nuclear numbers remember to write them always in whole numbers theek hai don't add a decimal to it Uh, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, I think that was the only thing we did talk about significant figures the previous day. So we're going to continue with with moles now, and I think we did the second formula, which is, or we didn't do the second formula. We did start with this moles equal to mass divided by AR and MR. So that is a formula. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do a couple of quick. questions theek hai uh you can try and help me out uh so i'm going to try the first thing is i said and the and the and the reasoning behind this formula was that it was simple ratios nothing uh too complicated it was simple ratios uh that the periodic table gives you your molar masses uh it's your ar and mr expressed in grams that's your molar mass which is basically the mass of one mole of a substance those are given in the periodic table so if i have one mole of sodium in the periodic table it's uh, 23.0 theek hai so that means uh, one mole of sodium has a mass of 23.0 grams so koi mujhe quickly bata de simple ratios uh, if i have two moles of sodium atoms so what would be the mass of two moles of sodium atoms 46 okay so 46 so it's it's going to be 46 grams if i have uh, if i have 10 moles of sodium so it's going to be so it's going to be 230 grams so it's simple simple ratio so this is what the formula is doing like if you want to find the mass you just multiply the moles by the i mean this is what you're doing you're just multiplying uh, 23 by 2 you get 46 you multiply 10 by 23 you, so this is simple ratios you just have if you know the moles you multiply it by the the molar mass the mass of one mole of a substance you'll find the mass and vice versa so it's a simple formula that you have to use uh do these two questions so we can move on you you're pretty familiar with this uh you some people know how to do this with ratios some people know how to how to use a formula uh the only thing is whatever you do just be very quick with it theek hai be very quick uh so option a uh i've got uh, i've got aluminum oxide and i've got 50 grams of aluminum oxide can somebody find me the moles of this and moles the symbol used for moles is usually n so 50 divided by the mr can can somebody calculate the mr and remember when you calculate the mr use the exact values theek hai uh i mean you know that aluminum is 27 oxygen is 16 but is it exactly 16 or not so we can have a look at the periodic table so Here you can see uh, that oxygen is sixteen dot zero, so that's almost close. To, I mean, that's probably sixteen, and this is twenty seven dot zero. So sixteen. It's a hundred and one point nine six. Hundred and two. Okay. The uh, so okay. I think you were even more accurate. I think you were using a using an even more accurate period table. So. uh you can just open 9701 this is this is the one that you'll have theek hai this is the one so this one says it's 27.0 and this one is uh, oxygen 16.0 so so it's 102 50 divided by 102 according to the pure table that you that is given to you so what do you get 0.49 
Also zero point. Four nine. Ek mein isme change kar deta. Just be careful. I'm giving fifty point zero grams, right? So my answer should be accurate, and my uh, and my values are also accurate up to three significant figures. The AR values. ठीक है, their accuracy is up to three significant. I mean, they're up, they're accurate up to three significant figures. So now tell me, uh, what would be the final answer? Zero point four nine zero. ठीक है, are you sure? Uh, what what comes after? What comes after? Three. It's three. So so it's definitely going to get rounded to zero. Okay, that's correct. So it's going to be zero point four nine zero. So just make sure that your accuracy. I mean, in your calculator, you'll get lots of numbers. Make sure your accuracy doesn't exceed the accuracy of the values provided. Uh, do another one, and be very careful with your calculator. So let's try another one. I thought one hundred fifty grams of. Calcium phosphate. So everyone try and calculate the MR, and it, and it's accurate up to four significant figures. Like it's one fifty dot zero grams. So can anyone calculate the MR? And this time, use the exact values. Okay. Uh, this is so calcium is. Here, calcium is forty point one. Take a note that down. Phosphorus is thirty one dot zero, and what's the other one? The oxygen is sixteen. Take it. Is it three hundred and one point two? Three hundred and ten point two. Sorry. Take it. So it's going to be three hundred and ten point two. Why two? It shouldn't be, shouldn't be point three. Remember, calcium is forty point one, and if you multiply by three, I think you should get one twenty point three for that. Then you add the PO fours. That's thirty one plus sixteen uh, to four. That's sixty four plus thirty one. That's going to give you ninety five. And there are two of them, so ninety five into two. That's going to be one eighty plus one twenty point three. So that's going to give you three hundred ten point three. Is this clear? Ah, uh, yes. As anyways, but don't take this lightly. Okay, when you're doing your calculations now, in all of us, you 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 used to taking this lightly. Okay, especially like uh, I mean, a lot of people have this habit. Like, what does the numbers over here matter? Okay, they just ignore those, or they just they don't round them off properly. Over here, you might lose one mark for that. So, what is the answer we are getting for this? Zero point four eight three. Need to answer how answer how accurate would be would would your answer be? The one value is four significant figure accurate. The other one is three significant figure accurate. Okay, so your answer cannot be more accurate than the least significant figure value, which is three. So three per round. Kar dena. What do you get? Zero point. Zero point four eight three. So we're getting zero point four eight three. ठीक है. So that's it. ठीक है. Uh, I don't think you need to practice this a lot more. It's just more is equal to mass squared by AR and MR. Uh, then you have another formula which is uh, related to concentration. Uh, concentration is uh, so that formula is that when you talk about concentration, remember this. Remember the concept of concentration. Uh, When you talk about concentration, I have one beaker and I've got another beaker. The first thing is, what does concentration represent? Uh, I mean, what what does it mean when something is concentrated and when something is not concentrated? So I've got particles here, and I've got particles here. There are two solutions. Which one out of the two is more concentrated? The first, the one on the left. Tika, so that's that. That's more concentrated. 
And this one, uh, the opposite of concentration is dilute. So this one is uh, dilute or less concentrated. I said, but anyways, um, now the concept is that uh, this represents closeness. Like if something is concentrated, that means the particles are really close to each other. If something is dilute, that means the particles are really far away. So the term concentration It only applies to uh, solutions and gases. It doesn't apply to uh, doesn't apply to liquids. So it doesn't apply to liquids or solids. I mean, for them, the concentration is going to be constant always. Like in a solution, the concentration, the particles could be close together, the particles could be far apart. So that's what concentration is. If it's gases, the same thing happens in a gas. Like if there's a container and the gas particles are very close to, together, so that indicates that uh, they're very, they're very concentrated. Okay. So, and if the particles are really far away from each other, that means they they're less concentrated. Solids or liquids can, why not in solids and liquids? Okay. What happens if this container is a solid? I said, what happens if this container is a solid? The solid can the particles ki spacing hogi na, that would be I mean they would all be really close to each other. As a solid together, the particles would be really, really tightly packed. Liquids can be even if it's a liquid, the particles would still be very tightly packed to each other. So spacing can the issue in here. They're all close together. Okay, is this point clear? Okay, the term concentration doesn't apply to liquids and solids. You can keep spacing it, that's that never changes. Is this clear? Sir. Yes, sir. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Sir, when did you start the class? Uh many eleven twenty big easy. Okay. Okay. I'll try. I'll try to start the class at eleven ten. As I said, we class kind of time. We have done some work. We have done some Plus, we have forty minutes. I mean, the previous class, and for some reason, we have forty minutes. And so, that is a little bit further ahead. Okay. Sir, can you repeat the lecture because I wasn't there. I just don't right now. That's okay. 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 That's ARMR, okay. We just did two questions. That's it. I'm you clear? You know this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it's not easy to miss it. We can't have a small zero mass divided by ARMR. Mm -hmm. so now, the next thing that we're trying to do is uh, concentration. What does concentration mean? Okay. So, concentration is the spacing of the particles. Like if they're far apart, that's dilute, that's less concentrated. If it's is a very tightly packed that's concentrated. So I told you that the term concentration only applies to solutions and gases. Because the spacing kind of changes. Like if you have a lot of gas particles, the particles would be close together. So that's more concentrated. If gas particles are far away, then that means uh, they're less concentrated. Solutions can be way yoga. Okay, if this, this is a solution, and you've added solute particles. If you've added lots of them, they would be close together. If they're just very few. They would be very far away from each other. The concentration doesn't apply to liquids or solids because their spacing is kind of constant. Unki apas mein jo spacing hai that doesn't really change. They're always, always really close to each other. Uh, yes. Isn't concentration uh, the amount of that substance? Hmm. In the particular volume. The what's your question? Sir, how is it closeness or? No, what technically? I suppose. 
any it is the amount of substance per unit volume na so if in a particular volume there's more amount the particles kya honge they will be close together right clear if in a Sir, yes um can you also say that um uh you can have concentration with um liquids because they don't have fixed volume no you can't the the thing is uh every time if you take a liquid the particles are always sticking to each other right in a liquid let's assume that these particles are in liquid state right so no matter what volume you pick let's say i mean concentration technically is the number of particles tk it's the moles divided by the volume or the number of particles divided by the volume tk that is what concentration is i'm just giving you the qualitative idea of what concentration is that concentration represents how close together they are or how far away from each other they are and for liquids the particles are always sticking to each other so that means their concentration would always be a constant so no matter what volume you pick tk let's say i pick this volume right and let's say this volume is uh, i'm going to give this some hypothetical value this is 1 cm cube right there once uh, this is let's say this is 1 cm cube and let's assume that there are eight particles or eight moles of particles in this volume okay so the concentration would be a divided by 1 right let's say i pick a bigger volume now and this time the volume is now 2 cm cube and the number of particles are now larger there are 16 so the amount of particles per unit volume is still the same okay if you pick a bigger volume if you pick a smaller volume the amount of particles per unit volume it's still the same is this point clear i mean 8 yes. divided by 1 16 divided by 2 that will give you the same thing so the point is when you think of concentration think of the spacing of the particles theek okay? hai i mean i'm not talking about the technical definition of what concentration is i'm just thinking ke matlab what you should think about when you think of concentration when you think of concentration you're going to think ke are the particles like if it's very concentrated you would think that the particles are close together to each other if they are not very concentrated the particles are really far away from each other that spacing that change in spacing can only happen in gases or in solutions because gases are compressible they can expand they can compress the particles can be close together the particles can be far away and that can only happen in solutions uh that the spacing between the particles can change like if there's a solution and there are four particles they would be very far away from each other if there are more particles they would be close together with each other the spacing of the particles like how far away from each other they are that never changes in liquids and solids that for liquids and solids the concentration would always be constant tk it's always constant or in other words you don't you don't use the word concentration for these things it's always constant because the it has they have fixed spacing tk they're always close to each other is this clear everyone yes theek hai uh, the reason i'm 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 talking about liquids and solids over here is uh, because it's, it's important that, that later on uh, you'll be trying to measure concentrations of different things for if 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 you're being asked to uh, talk about uh, especially in equilibrium the concentration of the liquid and the solid is never going to change even if you have more liquid or more solid like if i pour in more liquid particles right theek hai let's say i i add more liquid i increase the volume but the concentration is still the same it doesn't really change it's the spacing is still the same uh so it doesn't really matter if you've got more liquid you've got more solid being formed uh the concentration represents how close together are the particles the spacing is still fixed so the concentration will not change theek hai is this clear yes wait sir yes. um, you know how concentration is the um 
particles over the volume. Yes. If the volume increase, if the volume increases, doesn't it become more dilute? No, but the thing is, uh, the volume is increasing, right? But at the same time, the particles are also increasing, right? Oh, okay. So, it, I mean, if you use the formula, it kind of, kind of remains the same. Uh, like, even if I... The thing is, the it's uh, for solids and liquids, both things would increase at the same time. Like, uh, you can't just change the volume and keep the number of particles constant. Like, I, I can't do this. Like, I somehow increase the volume of the solid, but the number of particles kind of remain the same. They, they're not going to remain the same. This is just empty space. Uh, so you would have to add more particles to it, right? So, so both things would change simultaneously. Is this point clear? Yes. In gases, uh, for example, if this is a gas, so let's say these are four particles. In gases, you can change the volume without changing the number of particles. Uh, like in this case, uh, once again, In gases, for example, if I compress it, gases are compressible. So if I compress it by a lot, and the container is now really small, the particles are now in this tiny space over here. One second, let me pick that up. So all of a sudden, the concentration has increased. The particles are now closer together because the volume has changed, but the number of particles remained the same. So gases are compressible. Their volumes can change. Uh, solids and liquids are not compressible. So for gases, the concentration will change. Okay, the particles could be far apart. The particles could be uh, close together. If I increase the volume, that means the gases always tend to occupy the entire volume. They just don't stick around. They just move and they try to occupy the entire volume. Sir, so when the volume is decreased, the concentration increases because the particles are closer together? Yes. Okay. So now coming back to the formula, okay, this was one important point that I wanted to share. Okay, that is, no matter how much liquid is formed, no matter how much solid is formed, its concentration is not going to change. Is this clear? Okay. Uh, even in solutions, you can, in solutions even, uh, you can change, I mean, the two things are independent of each other. In solutions, uh, the thing that I did with gases, I can do with solutions as well. Uh, like if they are, I can change the volume without changing the number of particles. So let's say there are four salt particles, right? And they are present in this tiny amount of water. So I can increase the volume of the solution without changing the salt particles or the amount of salt particles. I can I can pour in more water in it. So what's going to happen now? Now the water level is over here. So now these salt particles are like occupying or travel or roaming around in a much bigger space. So the spacing increases; they become dilute. So in this case as well, uh, the two things are independent. But for solids and liquids the two things are interlinked. So that never changes. Uh, TK is well, just one second. Give me two minutes when I'll finish it. T tomorrow I'll try to start at 11.10 TK. Uh, just very quickly, I'm just going to sum this up. The formula is concentration is number of particles, which, which would be given in moles, uh, divided by the volume, which usually is in dm cube. TK moles is... Uh, so you can rewrite a lot of times it's written as n is equal to c into b. The unit for concentration is mole per dm cube. That's our unit. Uh, you need to know the conversion. Like if volume is given in cm cube uh, to dm cube. So how do you convert from cm cube to dm cube? Times thousand divided by thousand. Okay, CMQ to DMQ, that's divided by 1,000. And if you want to go to meter cube, 
which in some cases you would have to later on, uh, that would be divided by 1000 again. And coming back, it's going to be multiplied by 1000. And this would be multiplied by 1000. Uh, so anyways, uh, this is n is equal to c into v. Uh, people use uh, ratios as well. Like what they do is they, but that would kind of be time consuming in this case, don't have time, but that ratio thing, if you're good at it, if you're quick with it, keep using that TK, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what they do is like, if there's 0 0.1 moles in 100 cm cube, they'll just use ratios. Like it's concentration is the amount of substance per dm cube. So what they'll do is they'll try and find the amount of moles in 1000 cm cube. And they'll just use X for that TK and they'll... So concentration is basically the amount of substance in one dm cube, which is 1000 cm cube. So you can just do this, but you have to be very quick. Like if you if moles are given, concentration is given, you're asked to find volume, moles divided by concentration, that's volume. If volume is given, concentration is given, find moles, you just multiply the two TK. So better to use this, but if you're good with this, keep using that TK. Let's uh, continue tomorrow. TK, we did this formula. We'll try and do the other ones tomorrow. Uh, right, okay, pres sir. right, present in the chat quickly. TK, before leaving. TK, is chat can the? No, but my class is chat can the. But TK, is Zoom ki chat hai. TK, and then you can leave. Say, okay, everyone, take care. Love is. Love is.